My biggest dream was to be Spider-Man growing up. I started parkour because of Spider-Man. I didn't know what danger was. Sometimes I still don't. Like, I can climb something right now and be fine. I never really hurt myself. I hurt my... No. I just love the character. He's relatable as well because he was a teenager. And Superman's a generic. I don't feel relatable to him because, you know, he can do everything. He's Superman. But Spider-Man is like a young guy struggling to pay rent, struggling, got girl issues, still need to do his homework, his room's dirty and stuff like that. My mum has a friend and her son was around 14 at the time. I was probably like six or four. He was really into Michael Jackson. I was like, who's Michael Jackson? He was like, oh, you don't know Michael Jackson? Oh my God. He showed me Thriller. I wasn't scared at all. In fact, I was astounded. I was like, what? The way he moved, the way he danced, the way he sang. I asked him, I said, what's this website? And he said, YouTube. I was like, what, what's YouTube? I never heard of YouTube either. I, never, I didn't know what any of these things were. All I knew was jump off of things, hurt myself. I went home that day. I went on the computer. I basically studied Michael Jackson day in day out I watched him Billy Jean off the wall get on the floor and I started to move like him started to dance like him went to a talent show won it then my mom decided that she wanted to get me on an agency because she saw my potential and then there was a show at the end of the year we did man in the mirror and then I did a lack of freestyle at the end because there was a technical problem so I just danced and that's when I knew I was like I, I want to be a musician <laughs> I am a self-taught singer and dancer. Nobody really taught me how to do those things. I just saw artists. That mirror behind me, what I used to do is I used to just put it up against the, uh, the couch. I'd stand there in that mirror and I'd be sweating, dripping sweat. No one would be home and I'd blare music and I'd just dance and sing my, to, the, to the point where my voice hurt. I would just stand for hours on end and I'd just imagine like performing to a crowd of people. Manifested. When I found out that I was going to be a part of 99, I just felt a flurry of emotions. I wanted to cry, but um, I can't because I kind of taught myself not to. I think 99 is fantastic for the world, especially because it's going to be very relatable. We've got people from all over the world. The whole idea in itself is very innovative, very creative, make people want to dance and sing. To be the representative for the UK is it's crazy because it's like big responsibility. I'm not gonna take it lightly. I've got a job to do. I'm gonna do the best that I can.